See, when you make the move that you made in uh, Gettleman, who chose Barkley uh, and the landscape of how quarterbacks are, how they're perceived, how they're looked upon, um, when Barkley was drafted, many considered it a shock. And this is a pick that has stuck with him and something that he should be judged on. If you're judging him based on that pick, well, you have to get rid of Gettleman, right? So we have that uh, on the side there. And now people are talking about Judge. I, you have to realize it takes longer than two seasons to kind of fix a, fix a team. You've been changing coaches every uh, season or two since 2016. And obviously it hasn't worked, so maybe we should stick with Judge. I'm in, I'm in that camp where I, I want to still stick with Judge, see what he has with some, when he has something to work with. It doesn't work that way where you don't have instant success and you just fire everyone. And then the new people come in and then there's success. It doesn't work that way. By changing coaches all the time, it's only going to prolong the process of becoming, becoming a good team. You know, with the team needing to learn uh, a new coach's operations every two seasons. How do you expect the team to get, you know, uh, any type of rhythm? But now, if we're on the same page that Gettleman has to go, there's actually talk that he will be going himself. Um... Think of, think of it. If you get rid of the GM, you have to let him pick his own coach and coaching staff. What type of GM would come in without being allowed to pick their own coaching staff? Hey, if I'm going to be expected to do something and be expected to produce results and I don't have my guys in here why would I come in here so now this Joe Judge or it looks like Joe Judge might have to become a victim of circumstance I just don't see how it played like are the Giants that in love with Joe Judge where they say, no, he has, absolutely has to be on the team. I don't think that's the case. I hope all is well.